Most people know Hobby Lobby. They're a very large company, but they started as a family business. And these people have grown it. It's the same generation that started it. But I guess they should lose their rights because they incorporated. See, if they don't have First Amendment rights just because they started a business, then maybe they don't have Fourth Amendment rights or Sixth Amendment rights. Maybe, you know, the government can just barge in on any business and grab their records. Or maybe they can spy on people or maybe not give them due process. Oh, wait, that's right. We don't have those rights either, do we? See, if they don't respect the First Amendment, they're not going to respect the rest of them. If they can say that because of certain circumstances, you can't speak, you don't have the right to have principles that you want to organize your business around, you don't have the right to make those decisions because the government owns it. This is a fascism of the left. And we see this coming out in spades. Now, the other company that's involved is uh, Conestoga Wood. It's a cabinet-making company that's run by a Mennonite family. So you've got these... Christian families who don't want to provide abortion coverage to their employees. But Obama is mandating that. And, of course, Obama is our dictator. He can tell us anything he wants. And, of course, he can change Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, at will. We've seen how many times he's changed the dates, how many times he's changed the terms of it. And he just does it by executive order. I don't know why he even needed the Congress in the first place. They said they didn't know what was in it. They were going to pass it and find out later. Well, it doesn't really matter what's in it because Obama is going to change it as he sees fit. But listen to some of the comments when they argued this before the Supreme Court. Now, this is coming from the women at the Supreme Court. And that was the real gist of the story from Slate. They said, it looks like we're not going to win in this Hobby Lobby case. It looks like we're not going to be able to override the First Amendment. But the good news is that we've got women appointed who are speaking out. There's finally a women's team on the high court. And we can see that they're doing this because they're standing up for abortion. No, they're not feminists. They're just abortionists. Listen to some of these questions. Justice Sotomayor and Justice Kagan ask, well, because nobody is forcing Hobby Lobby or Conestoga to provide health insurance, they can simply pay the tax instead. <laughs> How does that help the people? See, they're trying to make an argument later on. The same Justice Kagan says that the employees are quite tangibly harmed by not having abortion coverage. But then she says, hey, it's no problem if the company just wants to pay the tax. That's not a problem. So she doesn't have a problem with those employees being quite tangibly harmed. Uh, they could just pay the tax. But then later she says, that's a real injustice. Now, they also said, what would happen if we allowed them to get away with this exemption? See, this is the real concern of dictators. And they said, this is a quote. Everything would just be piecemeal. Nothing would be uniform. See, we need uniformity. We need to be able to take their mandates. But I guess the thing that bothered me even more than these justices incredible comments and the arguments was John Stewart's reaction to this. He parodied this. And this is some of the stuff he said. You may be thinking that a private corporation suing over its religious beliefs sounds asinine. And John Stewart explained that last night as well. Indeed, uh, he couldn't believe that they would have a company that would be operating on biblical principles. What kind of biblical principles could a corporation be operating on? And uh, he called it uh, Jesus Christ Superstore is what he called Hobby Lobby. Now, he says it's founded on p biblical principles. You know, they really are founded on biblical principles. They really do have principles, whether or not they're biblical or not. Whether or not he agrees with those principles, they have principles. This is a guy who's facing one and a half million dollar a day fines. And because he doesn't want to violate his conscience... He's going to take this all the way to the Supreme Court. He's put his business, everything he's worked for his entire life, everything he's built for his family, he's putting on the line because of his principles, because of what he believes. Where is the sense of Voltaire in this? Where is the sense that I disagree with what you say, but I'm going to defend to the death your right to say it? You don't see that from the fascist, sarcastic left. This guy has put everything on the line at any point he could have caved to the government and he could have said, that's fine. I'll just I'll just pay it. I'll just uh, provide the insurance. It wouldn't have cost him that much in the insurance to put that in. But he st he stuck to the line. Do we have uh, we don't have time for that quote. I want to play a clip when we come back. I want you to hear from the CEO of Hobby Lobby what this is really about. This is not about making money. And I feel sorry for people like John Stewart 
who are so devoid of any overriding principles in their life that they can dismiss it that easily. We'll be right back. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are. Incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. Alex will be joining us at the top of the hour. And in the next segment, we're going to be joined by Paul Joseph Watson. He's going to talk about the amazing revelation of Turkey planning a false flag. That was recorded, put up on YouTube. But of course, the mainstream media is not talking about that. They're talking about the fact that Turkey shut down the entire YouTube, YouTube entirely for their country. And uh, that's all they're talking about. They're not talking about the actual content. But just before the break... We were talking about what's going on. Arguments were heard at the Supreme Court this last week 
about the Hobby Lobby case and another company who both object to Obamacare's requirements to carry abortifacients. And John Stewart had a program about this, making fun of it. And this was reported by TheWire.com. They said, this is what The Wire said. They said, the kicker about this whole case is that the government must accept Hobby Lobby's views on birth control at face value with no mind for accuracy. See, how, who gets to decide what's accurate? Well, in a fascist state, the government gets to make that decision. But this is what John Stewart said. Let me get this straight. Corporations aren't just people. They're ill-informed people whose factually incorrect beliefs must be upheld because they sincerely believe them. Yes, John, that's the definition of the First Amendment. Thank you for clearly and succinctly stating the fascist intolerance of the left, that because you don't agree with what somebody says, you can use a government to censor them, to shut them down, to dictate to them what they do or don't do in their business. Because, of course, we know that Obama built their business. They didn't build that business over a long time, but Actually, they did. Listen to the CEO, Green, of Hobby Lobby. This is what he said about his business and about this particular case. The very first freedom was religious freedoms, and that is really what's at stake here is uh, do we as a family, when we open a business, lose the ability to have the religious freedoms uh, that our founders gave us. We have operated our business according to the principles that we hold dear, and now the government's saying that because we're incorporated, we can't. The mandate required us to provide abortifacients that violate our conscience, and that we had to freely provide those. And so that's one of those where that we really didn't feel like we had an option. It's not something that we want to be a part of. And so um, we just felt like our hands were tied and that the only option we had was to sue the government saying that this isn't fair, that you require us to do something that violates our conscience. There are 20 required what they call contraceptions, uh, but we are not we do not have a problem with contraceptives, um, but it is those that are abortive, abortive in nature. That is when it becomes a problem for us. There are 20 that are required and 16 of them we provide. So that is not the problem. But there are four that can terminate life. And those are the four that uh, we uh, cannot provide. So we should have a discussion as to why the government even gets to dictate, of course, health care to us. There's nothing in the Constitution that gives them that authority. But I want you to look at his principles and the fact that he's willing to put what he's built over his entire life on the line. They're getting one and a half million dollar a day fines levied against them by Kathleen Sebelius and uh, those people, those fascists who are trying to take the Americans' money and redistribute it, not from one class of Americans to the other, but to the 1%, to the insurance companies. That's what this is about. This is fascist America. It really bothers me. It really bothers me to see this intolerance of the left to say that they don't get to decide. They don't get to do this because they're wrong on this issue. They lose their First Amendment rights because they're a corporation. But look at their principles. They put everything on the line. They could have at any time caved. Contrast that to what's going on in California with one of the top Democrats in the California state. This is a California state senator who was arrested for allegedly gun running. But he was their biggest gun control advocate. This guy, his name is Senator Leyland Yee. He's out of uh, San Francisco. He's had several gun control bills. He's got one that's up right now, a couple of them actually. Listen to this one. It would expand California's ban on assault weapons to include semi-automatics, centerfire rifles, etc. This guy was caught in an FBI sting and he's trying to take bribes from who, people he thinks they're the Chinese triads, that's the Chinese mafia, so that he can smuggle rocket launchers into Russia to Muslim separatists. This is the scenario that the FBI gave him, and this Democrat senator is good with that. Listen to what he said. Do I think we can make some money? I think we can make some money. Do I think we can get the goods? I think we can get the goods. People want to get whatever they want to get. Do I care? No, I don't care. People need certain things. So what kind of things is it going to provide? Rocket launchers, guns, anything they want. Now, people need certain things like health care. Can we make those decisions about that? No, that's going to be made by the mafia in Washington. Okay, this is the kind of principles that we're seeing from the Democrats, the people at the top of the Democrat Party. Same thing in North Carolina. We just had one of their rising stars there get taken down. That was a mayor taken down with real estate corruption. Of course, at the local level, at the mayoral level, it's real estate. When you move up to the Senate level, it's all about drugs and guns. And then when you go to Washington, it's not a retail guns and drugs. It's actually 
doing the wholesale distribution lines. We're going to be right back with Paul Joseph Watson. Stay tuned. We're on the march.